So in this slide, we're going to be talking about some dilutions, okay? Now, if you ever have to take nasty medicine, you can dilute the taste down with some water. You just add it to it, dilutes it. You can't really taste it. It's the same kind of thing with this, except you're not necessarily doing it, so the patient can't taste it. So an example of this would be, what volume of a 30%, 30, sorry, what volume, what volume of 37% acetic acid solution is needed to prepare eight ounces, eight three ounce bottles of a 13% acetic acid solution? Okay, so the formula for that, there is a few different formulas that you can use. Um, it's, it's the same formula, it's just labeled differently. The one formula that some people use is going to be M1 V1 equals M2 V2, or you can do MI for mass initial or the volume initial with SI for strength, so the percentage, equals the mass final or the volume final and the strength final. Now these are the two formulas that you can use. Um, I guess the hardest part about this one is going to be the determining which is which. So this is just going to be your simple algebraic equation where you just plug in the numbers and you find out. This one is a little tricky though because it's the volume we don't want to do three ounces we want to convert it to milliliters first. So, some givens that we know is one ounce equals how many milliliters? How many milliliters in one ounce? So, if you remember, it's going to be 30 milliliters per one ounce. And so, three ounces is going to be, three times 30 is going to be 90 milliliters. Now, if you wanted to set that up, you could do it, set it up like how we normally do it. One ounce, one ounce equals 30 milliliters. And so how many milliliters are in three ounces? You cross multiply and you divide, and that'll give you 90 milliliters. So, and that's just not it, because it gave you eight three ounce bottles. And so if you take this value right here, the 90 ml value, and you take the 90 ml value and you multiply it by the 8 bottles, that'll give you 720 milliliters. So 720 milliliters. So what volume of a 37% acetic solution is needed to prepare 8 3 ounce bottles of a 13% acetic acid solution? So the final volume is going to be 720 milliliters times 13%. And this is going to equal, does it get, which one does it give us? Does it give us the mass or the volume or the strength? So it gives us the strength. And so we have M1 times the strength, which is going to be the 37%. Now if we solve for M, we're going to have M1 equals 720 mLs times 13% all over 37%. Okay, So when you do that in the calculator, that's going to give us 720 times 13 divided by 370. That's going to equal 252.5. 9 milliliters because we converted it to milliliters and so the final amount is going to be in milliliters. So we'll need 252.9 milliliters of the 37% to prepare 8 3 ounce bottles of a 13% acetic acid solution. And that is an example of a dilution.